Hello and welcome back to a, another video on my channel reviewing the day's Africa Cup of Nations qualification action. Hope everyone's doing well. Just before, of course, we talk about today's two qualification games, we must touch upon the international friendly which finished USA 3, Morocco 0. And I was, I was looking forward to watching Morocco play. I wanted to see how Nayef Aguer did um, because he's linked with West Ham. I want to see if they can do well because, of course, they're playing Canada, hence why they're going to play a similar opponent in the form of the USA in Cincinnati. And I've got to say, that Morocco performance was an absolute shambolic disgrace. Heartless, um, no passion, no desire. Team looked disorganised. Vahed Halilhodzic, he took Algeria to the World Cup playing the five at the back system. With this team, he's got good players in that team. You know, you've got players like Hakimi, they're good players. But you, you can't do that. that. That was horrendous. So Adam Messina, left wing back, finding himself in, in the box all the time, caught out all the time. I thought Aguer was the, was the better in, in the three. I thought Saïs and, and Mme were, weren't good at all. I just think the whole thing was a shambles. And they lost 3-0 to the US. They made America look like Real Madrid. Now, the good news for Morocco is that they've got time to change. That's the benefit of playing friendlies. You can fix things for the World Cup. I've said quite often that I thought Morocco would come third in their group behind Belgium and Croatia. But having watched that, I think they're going to come bottom to Canada if they play like that. But anyway, that was only a friendly. Um, I'm sure Morocco will beat Liberia and South Africa in their AFCON qualifiers. But let's talk about um, the action in the AFCON 2023 qualifiers today. Mozambique took on Rwanda 1-1 that finished. That's a big two points blown for Mozambique. Like, good players, but why play Reynildo in, in, in the defence at left back? He's playing for Atletico Madrid. You've got to utilise these players. It's like when Austria put Alaba up front, um, when Canada put Alfonso Davies in an attacking position. Didn't like what Mozambique did. They went a goal down chasing the game, and it won't be Rwanda happy with that point. It'll be Benning happy with that point, because Benning will, will feel now that even though they've got to play Senegal, they've got a real shot at coming second, because I'm pretty sure Benning are going to beat Rwanda when those two teams meet home and away. So, um, disappointing day for Mozambique. 1-1 draw, I expected more from them. And then the Tunisia game was interesting because it was half-time 0-0 and it was almost a carbon copy of Algeria's game against Equatorial Guinea, of course, when they last played the North African team. They ended Algeria's 35-game unbeaten run. But Equatorial Guinea made a substitution at half-time. They put Elo Lopez on. Tunisia went one up through Slitty. And I have to say... I wasn't impressed with the Tunisian team, but every time I watch them, when Hannibal Medjbri comes off, they play better. I'm not convinced by Hannibal. I'm convinced of his work rate. He, like, he puts a tackle in, he'll, he'll argue, he'll get in your face. But I don't know if he's got the quality. I don't know how far he can get on passion. Because as soon as the substitution was made to bring on Msakni, and what a servant Msakni has been, not just to to Tunisian football, but to African football. And I really would put Yusuf Msakni in the sort of a Hall of Fame for African football because I think he's one of the good guys. I think he's had a fantastic career. Um, just a shame he never got to play more often in Europe. But he's come on. Um, Jaziri, of course, scored as well. Uh, but the usual suspects have had to bail them out. The, the key thing about Ilo Lopez was that he got sent off, right? And for the third time in the last five games, Tunisia have played against 10 men. You remember the Nigeria game, it won't be got sent off after he came on. The Mali lad put the ball in his own net and got sent off. Now this Equito Guinean lad has put has come on a half time and got sent off. And for me, when you when you're playing at home to these sort of teams that are going to sit back, the hardest goal to score is the first goal. If you make it one 0 you're going to push on and win the game comfortably because the other opposition have to come out. Algeria couldn't break down Sierra Leone, stayed nil nil. Couldn't get the first goal against Equatorial Guinea, lost the game one nil. Ultimately, that's what costs you in the, in these tough games at home when teams come and defend. So. Please for Jaziri and Msakni, and if they can get them together with Kazri for one last World Cup together, they might do something against Denmark, I don't know, but winning by four goals to nil, you have to say, even though they didn't play particularly well for 75 minutes of that game, the influx of goals in the last 15 minutes, will, when France and Denmark look at that result, they will start thinking, OK, we need to take that game seriously, and Tunisia will up their game for when they play against the French. So that was today's action. Tunisia on to three points along with the Libyans. Let's have a little preview of what's going to come tomorrow. We've got Comoros against Lesotho at two o'clock. Comoros hopefully going to continue that fantastic second round AFCON campaign. Hopefully not with a left back in goal this time. They'll be hosting Lesotho. Togo I think will be Eswatini at home as well. Burkina Faso should see off Cape Verde. 
when they face them at home and Ivory Coast will take on Zambia and although Ivory Coast have already qualified for the tournament as the hosts, got to see how that well they play because there's no World Cup for the Ivorians but they've got 12 months to build a team to win the cup in Abidjan. So thanks for watching, what did you think of today's action? Let me know in the comments down below. We'll be back soon, hopefully in short, another roundup of tomorrow's games and tomorrow we're going to have the preview talking all things Algeria, Uganda as well. But subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.